Hey guys, this is all stream that back with another episode of MLB the show 19 road to the show with our starting pitcher and we are right now 14 games behind the Cleveland Indians and we are four and a half games behind the Oakland A's for the American League wild card and let's go ahead and get into today's games and we are going to be doing some plyometrics with our teammate Danny Duffy and that will get our stamina up or our stamina cap will go up from 80 to 84 and he wants us to throw at least a hundred pitches in the next uh, appearance I don't think we can do that but we're gonna try and we're going to speak with our right fielder Jorge Bonifacio and discuss his recent performance that will get him friendly these guys think we're just a stepping stone to the postseason let's show them that we're not he agrees and says we should try to crush their dreams and here's our manager what can we do to give ourselves something to feel good about when this season wraps up? Forget where we are in the race. Let's win this month, okay? And double performance gains across the board. And here we are at home against Miami. And let's end the inning without giving up a run and one strikeout. I think that is a good idea. And they want us to throw 100 pitches. I don't think we're going to be able to get that deep into a game. Uh, not at this point, anyway. Next season, we might. That's a foul. Strikeout number one. And here is Alejandro Cortez. Strike one on a circle. Strike two as he swings through a fastball. Strike three as the circle hits the corner. That's the second strikeout. And here's Brian Anderson. It's a good four seam for the first strike. Another good four seam. And we'll strike the side out. So, that works. And it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. There's strike one. Strike two. Strike three, and that is strikeout number four. And now we have Starlin Castro. That's a decent curve. I think we hung that a little bit. I don't want it to be up that high again. And there's ball one. There's strike two.
strike three. That's our fifth strikeout. That is, wow, okay. Well, we're striking guys out. Strike one on a circle, we threw that one fairly quick. Strike two on a four seam. That one was late. That was very late. And there is the first hit. So he is the first one to get on base. The first one to not strike out. And the count is two and two. There we go. We'll strike him out, and that's strikeout number six. <coughs> Top of the third, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. There's strike one to O'Brien. And that is out number one. I'm gonna fly out to left. And here is Roger Fontenot. Batting nine, the center fielder. Roger Fontenot. That's a foul for the first strike. Strike two as he watches a four seam. And that's a fly to left and it looks like he's gonna catch that for out number two. And here's Juan Carrillo. There's strike one. And he's going to get on base. And there should be an advanced count. And there is. It's two and two. And the count is full. And he'll swing through a fastball for strikeout number seven. And here's Brian Anderson, top of the fourth, and the game is still tied at zero. And there's strike one. There's a fly out to center. That's the first out of the fourth inning. And here's Jorge Alfaro. There's strike one. Ball one, the count's one and one. There's one and two. And count is two and two on a high fastball. And that's a foul. And you'll swing through a four seam. That should be the eighth strikeout. And it is. 
And here's Starlin Castro. Strike one. Strike two. Still strike two. And struck him out. That is the ninth strikeout, I believe. And here's John Larson. And there's strike one. Top of the fifth, and the score is still tied at zero. Oh and two. If anything, I want to ground out. But he's going to go ahead and strike out, and that's number 10. It is. So he's got 10 strikeouts over not quite five innings yet. Four and a third. There's strike one. Strike two on a foul. Strike three as he watches a curve, and that's number 11. We are halfway to 100 pitches. There's strike one to O'Brien. Strike two as he breaks the plane. Still strike two on a foul. Still strike two. And he swings at that curve. That's another strikeout. And we are up by two. The top of the sixth. And there's strike one. Oh, that's a, that's an error. That is, okay. <clears throat> so here's Ron Carrillo. There's strike one. The second baseman is not going to catch that, but that is going to be an out. As the runner on first had to hold up until they were sure that it wasn't going to be an out. So there is now a slower runner on first than there was before. There's strike one. Okay, he got that one. So there's now two outs. That's ball one. There's strike one on a foul. And that should be out number three, as it's a fly out to left. Off 
Okay, let's uh, end the inning without allowing a run or a walk. We are still up by two. There's strike one. Okay, there's a hit. Here's Starlin Castro. I'm really not that worried about the runner taking off from first. And now it's tied, as that is a home run. We were doing so well into the seventh inning. Okay, so it's now tied. There's ball one. There's strike one. And now I feel like we're not going to get our 100 pitches because I think this may be our last inning after that. And after this too. So we basically allowed uh, we allowed a two-run homer, and then a hit right after that. It's not looking good. Okay, there's out number one finally. Here's Peter O'Brien. And that's another hit. There's runners on first and second with one out, and it's a tie a tie game. And here's Roger Fontenot. There's strike one. That's a ball that's close. And he should be able to catch that. That's out number two. And now we should have an advanced count on the next guy. On Juan Carrillo. And we do. The count is two and two. We'll take care of that one ourselves. 78 pitches. And they're going to let us continue. We're up by four. So now it's looking even better. There's strike one. There's ball one. The count is one and one. Count is one and two. And there's out number one on a good play by the third baseman. There's strike one. Okay, the count is one and one as that was badly mistimed. There's strike two. And that's a hit. We're at 86 pitches. And they're going to pull us out 14 pitches short. Here's Kevin McCarthy. And we have won.
and we have in the bullpen when we go to our yeah when we go to the bullpen we can now learn some new pitches we're not going to learn anything new right now we're going to hold off on those we're going to do a simulated game with our curveball and Craig Kimbrell, and that should get us the, um, there we go, that should get us a, yep, 10 outs with our curve. And let's try it. And we're going to speak with Brian Flynn about his recent performance and get him close to friendly. These guys think we're just a stepping stone to the postseason. Let's show them that we're not. He agrees and says we should try to crush their dreams because apparently that's what we do. And here we are against Minnesota. And we need 10 outs with our curve. So that is what we are going to try to do. And hopefully that goes better than trying to get a hundred pitches. Okay, that's a hit right off the bat. Two pitches in, we've got a runner. And here's Avisail Garcia. Four pitches or less. There's strike one. Strike two. Ball one, so it's got to be on this. This is our last pitch for that challenge. And we missed it because the shortstop completely missed the ball. And it looks like they're going to show it, and yeah, he should have dove. So now there's runners on first and second with nobody out. There we go, out number one. So now a double play can end it, and here's Giorgo. Or Jerko. There's strike one. Swings way early on a curve. Strike two on a curve right down the middle. There we go, that should be an out, and that was on a curve. So that's the first. And the second out of the inning. And here's Scope. Let's try to strike him out. There's strike one. Ball one. That's... Okay. Three and two. Okay. Okay. And that is out number three as he caught that on the warning track, thankfully. I think this is going to be a uh, worse start than the last one. I don't think we're going to have... don't think we're going to be throwing as many pitches. 
definitely going to be a shorter outing. So here we go. That's a double. One strikeout, no runs. Let's see if we can do it. Here's strike one. There's ball one. Strike two on a curve. Strike three on a curve. Okay, there's ball one. Ball two, that one was very, very badly timed. There's another out, so that's out number two. That should be out number three. Okay. Still tight at zero. There's strike one. Strike two on a foul. Ooh, right over the shortstop. That's another hit, and that's a double. And here's Garcia. Twelve pitches or less without allowing a run. Let's see if we can do it. There's one. There's strike one. Strike two. Strike three. That's the second strike out of the game. And the count is one and two. And there we go, we're down by two. Terrible. And Jerko just jerks one over the fence. There's strike one. Strike two. And that's a foul. And that's a strikeout. So we get out of that with uh, two runs against us. We're still down by two in the top of the fourth. There's ball one. There's strike one. Strike two on a four seam that's foul.
That will not be caught. I don't. Yep, that is caught by the center fielder. Closed in pretty quick for out number one. Here's CJ Crone. That was inside for ball one. Inside for ball two. And there we go. That is caught for out number two. And here's Marwin Gonzalez. That's a foul. And there we go. That should be out number three. So we got out of that with no runs. And let's uh, end the inning in 15 pitches or less without allowing a run. So 63 is the number that we need to avoid. Strike two on a foul. Oh, we're not gonna... I don't want anything to do with that. That belongs to him. Okay. And here's Polanco. Now batting. The third baseman. Jorge Polanco. That looked like a strike to me, but okay, whatever. When you're not pitching a good game, you can't expect to get those types of calls. There we go, one and two. And that should be out number two. And here's Garcia. There's strike one. That curveball hit the corner and we got the call. There's strike two. Still strike two. Okay, that's a hit. We still have a few pitches to work with. That's strike one. Strike two. Okay, let's see if we can get him here. Challenge failed. Okay. And of course, <laughs> the next pitch we strike him out. Okay, top of the sixth, that is still two to nothing. And we are still pitching. Our energy is starting to go down. 2 and 0. Oh. And that's another hit. I don't think we're going to last much longer here. Here's scope. 
There's strike one on a foul. Strike two. And he'll swing at that circle for an out. That was close, but it's still a ball. There's strike one on a foul. Strike two on a foul. Still one and two. Two and two. Three and two. Still three and two. And that should be the second out. And it is. And here's CJ Crone. There's strike one. Strike two as he swings way early on a circle. And we get him out with the circle. And William Kai will come in and relieve us. And we have failed. And we have lost. And at the end of this episode, with 12 games left, we are 14 games behind the Indians. So the American League Central is officially uh, a two-team race. The Twins could still beat the Indians, but we are out of it. And in the American League Wild Card, we are five and a half games behind the Red Sox, and Oakland has fallen back. And I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream That. Hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.